So as a part of the visual communication design class at Chapman University, we were tasked with choosing a brand or company that we thought really needed to sort of be rebranded and have a second look uh, taken at their branding and whatnot. So as a Portland, Oregon native, I decided to choose Nectar Frozen Yogurt Lounge. This is an amazing frozen yogurt shop actually right in my home neighborhood that I love visiting because it really does serve as sort of a community hub and also has some very tasty treats. So throughout the semester, I did an entire rebranding, including redesigning their logo, rewriting their core copy, their mission, uh, doing a persona document to look at their uh, core target audience, as well as making a sitemap and wireframe to then create this live website for them. So taking a look, this is the homepage here. There's a couple different ways to get to the homepage. So we have the logo here, which will redirect the homepage, as well as home. So going through the navigation, we also have location and hours, the flavor menu, more, our story, and contact us. We also have this handy button over here with hours and locations, as that is a very common question people will have when looking for a frozen yogurt shop. They wanna know if it's open and where it's located. So scrolling through the homepage here, we have their events calendar over here, which would be filled with lots of their different community events, including different musicians and balloon artists and other ways to sort of bring families within the community together to all hang out. We have their mission up here in a little bit of who they are. Down here, we have an offering to have a super treat with Nectar, and this will actually redirect you to the more page, which we'll look at later. We also have this mock-up that I did that includes a crisis communication poster as well as their new logo and a link here that will redirect you to their hours and locations page. Scrolling down, we have their link to the Nectar Facebook here, which actually will go to their live and current Facebook. Here you'll be able to see their current logo as well as some of their current images. Going back to the page here, these are some of the images that will be on the Facebook page. Down here we have a meet the team link which will redirect you to a little bio, mock bio actually, that I wrote about different team members that work at Nectar. Locally sourced flavors which will take you to the flavor menu. Weekly events and more which will take you to the more page where theoretically they would upload all of their upcoming community events. Down here at the bottom we have a pints plan sign up with an active sign up link. This would allow people to sign up basically for like a points plan. Whenever they buy nectar, they would accumulate points and say every 10 nectars they buy, they get an 11th one free. And down here we have links to their various social media accounts, as well as a reminder that you deserve a treat, you deserve nectar. So going back up to the top of the page here, we're going to take a look at some of the navigation pages. So going to location hours, we can either go this way or this way or this way but we'll go right from the navigation. So on locations and hours, we can see here that they have two locations. Here are the hours and address for the Selwood Moreland uh, location, and here are the hours and address for the Multnomah Village location. Both of these links will take you directly to Google Maps, so you could actually Google Maps how to get to your nearest nectar and get that treat for yourself. Going back to the flavor menu, so here I pulled a couple of their most popular flavors, actually ones that I grew up really enjoying as a kid, and wrote up little descriptions for what each flavor is like. So theoretically, these would be the flavors that they have, quote unquote, on tap in the store. We also have their available toppings divided into other toppings, candy and chocolate, and fruit. And then that same footer reminder down here. Going back up to the top of the page, we'll go to the more page. Here we have that immediate call to action to sign up for that pints plan that I mentioned earlier. We have a uh, gift card here that you can purchase now and enjoy later. Perfect for any gift for friends or family. We also have pints for purchase, ordered here and delivered to you with that active purchase now, enjoy later link with two different mockups that I've done uh, with the new branding. We also have the various pints for purchase, best selling pints and puppy pints. And then that same footer at the bottom. You can also navigate from the footer to hours and locations, the flavor menu and weekly events. Going back to the top, we can take a look at their story where we can find a 25 word statement about who Nectar is, as well as some more in-depth core copy written in the tone of the brand. 
here's that meet the team that I mentioned. So some actual pictures of people that do work at Nectar with mock names and mock biographies about who they are, where they go to school, and what their favorite uh, Nectar treat is. For example, Tiffany uh, likes to have Alpine Vanilla topped with Samoas. Sounds like a good combo to me. And then finally, we have the Contact Us page. On the Contact Us page, we have another mock-up with their new logo, as well as their phone numbers, their addresses, a link to their Facebook, and then a link back to that home page to kind of keep people within um, the website. Going back to that home page, if you have any questions at all, I would love to hear from you and discuss how this is a new brand look for Nectar Frozen Yogurt.